Girl, I didn't know we was recording. Welcome back to um, My Twisted Life in TV. I wasn't going to even push the record button until I got out of this building. But evidently, it started recording on its own. So, I just want to give y'all a little life update about me. So, um, if those of you who have been with me for a while, y'all have known that I have had some anxiety attacks. Some of you have witnessed them right here on the channel as I'm recording the video. Um, I have spoke before about chest pains that I've had, along with all the other new symptoms I picked up since I've been living here in Florida. Well, I'm leaving the VA hospital right now. Um, getting the EKG done on my heart because I keep having chest pains. They're not constant. They go away. They have not radiated to any other part of my body other than right here, dead center in my chest. With the exception of the back pain. I swear the back pain and the chest pain feels the same. It just feels like in different areas of my body. So, I feel I feel weird. The camera look weird. I don't know. The camera look weird. Anywho, um, from what I'm gathering and what my acupuncturist believes I may have a form of angina it's a tightening of the chest muscles the heart muscles usually they say it's not life threatening it go away within a matter of minutes if I practice good breathing which is normally what I do I usually breathe through the pain to help it subside and usually less than two minutes maybe a minute less than a minute it goes away um, but if I keep having them frequently, it could damage my heart. So, from my EKG, what they told me was that, from what it seems like, the right side of my heart is a tad bit inflamed, but it's nothing to worry about. Now, y'all know me. You tell me that something with my heart ain't normal at all. I don't care if it's a tad bit or a whole bit. That ain't everything's okay to me. So, anywho, they're going to send my test results over to the cardiologist, and then I'll hear something soon. Um, we're gathering that it's due to stress. But I'm telling y'all, sometimes I could just be in a random ass situation. I could, make, I could not be going through anything stressful. I could be just laying in the bed chilling just watching TV, I could just be walking, I could be, you know, on the phone, and all of a sudden it hit me. So it's nothing that I know specific that is triggering me. Um, so I, I would say sometimes, yes, it may be stress, but not all the time. And I'm trying to figure out like, what the fuck is going on. I done had so many EKGs, so many stress tests, and it all comes back inconclusive every time. I heard there's this thing called a, a, a corduroy ultrasound I'm wondering why that has never been done on me that's going to be my next step when I hear back from the cardiologist I'm going to request it um I've also you know had some skin irritations that I've been complaining about before I talked y'all heard about me talking about them before too and usually the doctor would throw some cream at me you know what I'm saying just throw some cream at me um but there has not been any like swabs or anything done to figure out what the fuck is going on so, when I mentioned it yesterday to the doctor the other day, because I talked about the mold that's in the house, and I wanted to get a, a mold screening or a mold panel, she said they didn't have anything specific to mold, but they're going to give me allergy tests. So, I just did that, too. I just went to the lab and did the allergy test to find out if this mold in the house has been affecting me. And what the nurse was hearing, today, based off of my conversation, not the nurse, this first time I ever met her, I talked to her, my fifth nurse since I've been at this facility. But I'm talking to her and I'm explaining to her what my landlord is telling us to do as far as like putting bleach down. And she's saying that maybe it's the bleach that's causing the skin irritation. Never thought of that. However, I still think it's the mold. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, we tested for that too. And y'all know I'm still having some pain in my foot for when I broke it back in, at Christmas time. I went back to work before my foot was fully healed. I already know this for a fact. Just from the x-rays I took in February, then I went back to work because I couldn't afford not to be off work any more longer than I had been. I had already been off three months with no, with no pain. 
and I was dipping into my savings. And I didn't want to be back into the same position I was in when I first moved to Orlando and I blew through my savings within those first few months I was living here because I wasn't getting paid. I didn't want to put myself back in that position, so I went back to work because I was walking around on it. Um, but because it's still causing me discomfort, I still have a slight limp when I walk, I want to get back into running, jogging at least, to get this fucking weight off me, y'all. Um... But I can't, I don't want to do that knowing that my foot is still fractured. So I'm like, have to go some other routes, maybe. I hate, I, I have a home gym, treadmill, I have an ab machine. My mama has a, a, a rower, so I can use her rower. We have a bike, and then it's another type of machine. Now I don't know what the fuck that is. To me. Oh, that's my mom's bike. It's a little different than my bike. My bike is when it, you use your arms and legs to propel the motion, her bike is more electrical or mechanical no mine is all body motion okay um so we have i have some other options that i could do besides jogging on my foot however i like to be outside like i, said, I have this whole room with nothing but gym equipment i think i've been on my treadmill maybe five times since we've been in this house and we've been in this house three years i prefer to be outdoors now back in st louis it was it was more sensible for me to be indoors when the winter time hit even though i still would go out in the snow and the ice and run in i miss running i miss running my um injections that i was getting remember i told you i lost four pounds the lipo injection they gave me i lost four pounds the first one i hear for my well when i hear i was reading on it and it said that the average person loses about four pounds a week per injection i ain't lost no more since that first one and i done got like four more injections since then <laughs> so I know I need to take control of my own health which was certain um, exercise will help me lower my A1C again because it has been getting high even though my glucose stick test has still been normal my A1C has still been high it will help me with the shrinking of the fibroids it also will help me with these chest pains if, I, if it is indeed angina um my blood pressure is getting lower and it helped me keep that lower and it helped me with stress i i used to when i and, and and my anxiety and my depression i used to whenever i go whenever i felt like the heaviest mentally i would just go take a walk in forest park st louis i love forest park i miss forest park i would just go take a walk and i would just let tears fall sometimes or they would just come you know while I'm walking, just releasing that stress and that anxiety and shit like that. So I really want to just get back into walking and or, and jogging to a point. Like I do, I got too much weight on me, y'all. And I still want to be able to enjoy the fucking foods that I enjoy. So I know I have to focus more on exercise because I like to fucking eat the things that I like to eat. I just have to know be sensible and eat in moderation but shit I don't want to cut shit out that shit that adds more stress to me have to completely monitor all my goddamn food all the time that's stressful as hell when you sometimes when you get on a weight loss journey the, the journey itself becomes the addiction it, it adds so much stress motherfuckers be bouncing back and forth off that scale trying to make sure oh it only moved one pound a day it didn't move at all I ain't trying to get back into that space. You know, trade one you no know, mental problem for another. Woo. But anyway, I'm supposed to find out, in, I guess, in a couple of days whether or not my foot is still fractured and how that's going to play on me trying to get back into what type of workouts I can get back into. Now I'm, I'm broke. Your girl broken. Your girl broken. And then, like, with, with all of this move coming up, I already know I'm stressed. With way the work is, and you know my new work assignment, this shit is heavy as fuck. We've already determined it's heavy as fuck. He was supposed to put in the system that, you know, the changes so I can get paid, not correct pay, because I'm still short pay. Um, he's supposed to put that in the system. He ain't did that yet. You know, just a lot. Your girl, just be your girl be dealing with a lot. And then I woke up the other morning, saw one of my friends from boot camp sisters you know my my boot camp platoon we pretty much in contact with everybody that was in our fucking platoon you know what i'm saying everybody that's still alive and we just and so i've been out of boot camp for 
29 years? I graduated in 1992. Okay. And so we don't have this 29 year friendship between us ladies, you know what I'm saying? And one of us, uh, one of our sisters just died from uh, liver, a liver disease. So that saddened me. Then um, I happened to go on Facebook for something else, and one of my childhood friends, we would ride or die. How mama just died? I'm like, what the fuck? And then my my ancestry DNA cousin, I, I can stop calling her my ancestry DNA cousin because we we are actually cousins, we are blood relatives. We have, I don't know what the fuck y'all waiting on. We have this connection with one another. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn niece just died. She's like 20 years old. I still haven't got the details of what the hell she died from. I'm like, <sighs> then my uncle's stepchildren, um, one of his brothers just died. One of the sons, one of his brothers. He got the brother by a different dad. One of his brothers just died. I'm like, so all of this, all of this makes me just think more and more and more about my health and what the fuck I'm not doing. Things that I know I should be doing that I'm not doing in regards to my health. And that depresses you even more. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes like, let's see if I can make sense of this. Sometimes my health affects my mental stability. Because my health is not where I want it to be, and I know that I'm not doing all that I can, and so then I beat myself up mentally for not doing all that I can, so that affects my mental health, you know what I'm saying? Okay? And then other times, it's my mental health that affects my physical health. Because I'm in this funk, because I'm in this state. Um, I don't have, I lack desire, I lack motivation, I lack, I lack energy. All of those things negatively impact my physical health. So it's like a catch 22. I just gotta find some balance, you know? And like I come in here and I talk to y'all about these things because I know a lot of y'all experience similar things and situations. You go through a lot of, um, a lot of y'all, just just from reading comment sections, deal with mental health issues. A lot of y'all deal with these physical issues as well. So I come in the shirt so y'all can just know exactly, yo, y'all ain't alone. Um, sometimes y'all stories help me as well. In addition to, I like to document the fuck what's going on with these doctors. I like to document it. Now, I remember the last time that I was having chest pains. Y'all were on here like, if you don't take your ass to the doctor. Well, I took my ass to the doctor. And I remember doing a stress test. I remember the doctor, he was an old man with gray silver hair, really nice old man. He hooked me up to the dog on treadmill and had me running and all. He had me doing all kind of stuff with his stress test. I remember that specifically. They could not find that in my medical records anywhere. They said it never happened. Now that test that I took since I've been here in Florida was not the first one that I've taken for my heart. And those chest pains. Not the first one. They can't find them in my records. No record of it, they say. Of the, of the test I took here in Florida. I don't even know if she went back to look at the ones in St. Louis. But in no records of the ones I've done in Florida. Now, I was able to go back through my traveling talks. And give her the exact damn day I did that test. Because I recorded it. And they like, oh, this is strange. It ain't strange to me. Y'all motherfuckers trying to make me think that I'm cuckoo crazy. Like, I'm making shit up in my head. No. Like, like the, the, the skin irritation. I've been to them doctors several times. They said they have no record. And I noticed today, when I was talking about it today, the lady was not documenting anything that I was saying. I said, that's why y'all don't have no records. Because y'all put into my, my medical records what the fuck y'all want. When y'all go to the damn doctor, make sure them motherfuckers document it. If they tell you, no, you're not getting this test. If they tell you, yes, you're getting this test. If they give you an explanation, tell them to put that shit in your medical records. 
I'm learning that. And I noticed that day, I was like, she ain't even typing nothing. She gave me an excuse about how the system wasn't loaded yet. It wasn't up yet. Okay, well, when that motherfucker loads, take time, pause, and write in everything that we just talked about. Everything that you asked me, everything I told you. Put that shit in the system, sis. Okay? Because uh, all your medical records can come up missing magically. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Doc, okay, I know damn well I did that test. I know, Doc, I don't know what y'all did with it, but I know I did it. And I thank goodness came back to YouTube and put it on YouTube. And February 25th of 2020 is when I did that damn stress test. And the results, I told y'all about it on this channel. They don't have no records in it. I say, I, they already think I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all thought I was crazy about my back pain. I had been complaining about my back pain for years. Y'all was just throwing me muscle relaxers. And then I wouldn't take them. And then y'all like, oh, you're getting better, bitch. I haven't even taken the muscle relaxer at all. I told you my blood pressure was getting a little high. Once I, heard, I told y'all that. Now my blood pressure is improving, y'all. It's getting so much better. The medication is working. The medication I ain't even fucking taking. I've never taken a blood pressure pill. Never. I've been trying to, like, control my blood pressure with meditation breathing techniques trying to walk as best as possible you know what I'm saying trying to reduce my stress as best as possible masturbating like a motherfucker baby masturbation will relax your motherfucking ass I'm telling you I'm telling you and since I ain't having sex on a regular basis and even if I was I still be masturbating because it's a different type of feeling you don't get your heart rate all extra pumped up and stuff like that but you can you, you get in a relaxed state of mind. Damn, is that our lady? I was finna, I'm driving over to the post office right now to drop off a package. I was supposed to mail for Keaton yesterday, but I just saw the mail lady right there. Could have just gave it to her. Anywho, I'll take it over there now. But still, yeah. Finding different ways to reduce my stress to help me reduce my 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 blood pressure levels because they be high sometimes. But I know I got anxiety when I go to doctors because I don't like them motherfuckers half the time. So that when I go to the doctor and they give me that doggone blood pressure test, my shit be like 199 over something. You know what I'm saying? You know, my average is like 110, 115, 120. That's what my body used to be. Lately, my average been around 135, 140, which is still kind of high. Because I got all this fucking weight on me and all the damn stress and all the other shit, right? But anyway, when I go get this and they put that little automatic machine in my arm, my shit be high. I be like around 200. And they be like, ooh, it's high, bitch. I, first of all, I tell them, give me the manual. Don't don't put that machine on me. One of the machine tightens up too fucking much for me. I already got anxiety from coming to the doctor. Give me something that I feel comfortable with, the manual test. So the nurse I had today, she did it automatically. And she did today, and my numbers were like 130. It said, still half of me, but it ain't no 199. She was like, this is a dramatic difference. Your medication is working. No, bitch, I have not taken medication. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But still, document that shit. Document that shit. Document that shit. Make sure what they are telling you is in your fucking records. Especially if they tell you no. Especially if they just throwing stuff at you without re actually testing. But like I was saying, they have been throwing like the fucking back pain, uh, muscle relaxes and shit at me for years. Excuse me, for years. Without actually seeing what the fuck is wrong with my back. Half the time, I don't think they believe me. Like I'm making shit up. They feel like a lot of black people, especially black women, we, I, they don't fucking listen to us. We supposed to be able to tolerate a lot of pain. Because I'm not sitting up in your face in tears all the fucking time doesn't mean I'm in pain. I just have learned just through the survival of life how to mask it. That's the difference. But I, the pain is still there. And I'm telling you, I'm motherfucking hurt. And I'm sitting at a goddamn 10. Whether I got tears coming out of my eyes or not, bitch, I'm at a 10. Okay, so anywho. After all these years of them throwing off muscle relaxers and shit at me and ibuprofen and things like that at me, they finally did ultrasound on my goddamn back and you know, x-rays and shit to find out I got the damn bulging disc along my spine and the degenerative disc disease. You know what I'm saying? I probably had that shit years ago when I first started complaining about my back pain when I first got out of the military, but they wouldn't fucking listen. Sometimes they be practicing medicine, you know, sometimes. But I just want to get out here and I'm just giving y'all a life update. 
that's why y'all haven't y'all haven't seen videos from me mainly because i have not been in the fucking mood i'm sorry sorry not sorry i'm sorry that i have not been keeping up with the channel like i should but i'm not sorry because i'm taking care of me i come first you know what i'm saying and if i just want to just lay still for a minute and not record a video then I, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm 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 getting back to that point where yeah, videos are gonna come. Today is a good day for me. I'm off. It's um almost noon. I was gonna go to the movies at one o'clock and go see that movie uh, Free Guy. I heard it was funny. I feel like I need a good laugh. I feel like I need a good laugh. But me and Keena watched a, a movie on Netflix last night called The Darkest Hour. It's like a sci-fi. It was kind of funny, but good at the same time. It came out in 2011. I only watched it because the dude, Nick, from who the man who plays Nick in uh, The Handmaid's Tale, he was in it. And it turned out to be a pretty interesting movie. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, a bit cheesy, but still not bad. Um, so I think I might have got my movie feel already. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to pack some shit today. Pack some shit today. Check out the weather. May get out there and cut the grass a little. Might do that. And, uh, yeah, I think for the most part, I'm going to probably pack some shit. I'm sure, I keep doing laundry, y'all. But I keep leaving my laundry in the uh, garage. And we got baby lizards in the garage. <laughs> It's ants to come in the garage. It's probably whatever. Mosquitoes be in the garage. So now I got all my clean clothes out in the garage with all these ants and lizards and baby mosquitoes and possibly frogs again too. I haven't seen I haven't seen another frog since Hubert. I miss Hubert. I haven't need seen another frog since Hubert. But I know it's it's other shit. You know, things to go bump in the night in the damn garage and my, my clean clothes is no longer clean. So I'm rewashing them again. I don't rewash these clothes about 50, 11, times. But I need to wash them and pack this shit up. That's what I need to do. Instead of washing them and trying to pack them, uh, put them in. I don't have furniture. I've been in this house three years. And the only thing that I bought for myself, furniture-wise, is my bed. Can I bought her whole bedroom set. Bought my mama bedroom set. Did I buy my mama the bedroom set? I bought my mama bed, too. I didn't buy her the whole bedroom set. I don't think. I don't remember. No, I don't think I did. I might have, because I remember I made her get rid of her dresser. Ain't no telling. Anywho, I haven't bought myself any furniture. My desk in my office, my office chair, and two bought two office chairs. That's it. And like the living room furniture, but like my bedroom, there's nothing in my bedroom but my bed. That's it. No dressers. No. So my clothes stay in the laundry baskets the entire time. This, I had just gotten so lazy to the point that I was leaving them in the garage instead of bringing them into the house. And then I see a lizard running around in the garage. And I'm like, okay, I need to wash them again. So I'm rewashing. I'm just rewashing clothes over and over and over and over again. <laughs> but I need to start packing this shit up anyway. I need to start packing it up. So we can get ready to make this move. Get ready to make this move. But yeah, this has been a traveling talk Thursday bonus edition, you know what I'm saying? Just so I can document my stuff. Y'all keep 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 um what's the word I've been trying to say? Keep up on your health. Mental, physical, keep up on it. I know she wanted me to talk to my therapist today. She didn't want me to leave the office today. She was like, you just seem sad. I'm just like I'm tired, frustrated. And I I I'll talk to my therapist. I will But sometimes you just need to talk to other people too. So, like, I'm talking to y'all. Find somebody to talk to if you ever talk to a, a therapist. It's a listening ear. Y'all, my listening ear, y'all don't even realize it. All right, just go ahead and drop this box off at the post office. And I'm going to take it on home. And I'm going to pack some shit. I think I might pack up all my movies that I got downstairs. Got like over a thousand movies. Usually when I see boxes, I feel like I'm doing something good. No judging. No judging. I love my kitty cat face. Talk to y'all later. All right, peace.